In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this zoom into eye effect in Premiere Pro, just like this. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So here inside Premiere Pro, I have both of my clips. I have the clip of the eye opening, and then I also have the drone footage that I want to transition to. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go to the very beginning frame of the drone footage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I'm going to click on this little plus button, and I'm going to select export frame, and I'm going to drag that down here and then press OK. Then I'm going to click that export frame button. And what that's going to do is it's taking a snapshot of that very first frame. This is going to be really important for us to use later. Then what I'll do is just go over here and I'm going to title this drone frame. Then go over here to browse and just save it wherever you want to save it to. Just click choose and then make sure that you, you check the box import into project and then press OK. By selecting import into project, it dropped it down over here. And then I'm just going to take that and drag that onto the timeline. Next, I want to go over to the spot where the eye first opens is right here and I'm just gonna drag that drone frame over to that spot now I can't see the eye anymore but I'm gonna fix that so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale this down to about the size of the actual eyeball then I'm gonna scroll down under opacity I'm just gonna bring this down to about 40 percent because I'm gonna be creating a mask here in just a second next I'm gonna select the pen tool over here and then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna zoom this into about 75 percent and now what I want to do is mask out this portion of the eyeball and it's important to take your time with this mask because the more precise that you are, the better this effect is going to look. What I'll do is I'm going to round out these edges a little bit. So I'm just going to hold down Alt on the keyboard and I'm just going to click on each individual point. That way I can smooth this out and I can zoom this in just a little bit further just to make sure that it's more precise. Just click on these points here. Just kind of round out those edges. I also want to make sure that I have my mask feather turned down to zero so that my mask is precise. Then once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go over here, make sure that I have my drone frame still selected, and I'm going to click the stopwatch for mask path because we're going to be animating this mask. Now I'm going to go frame by frame and adjust the mask until the eye is completely open. So go ahead and select that mask again, go over one frame, and make the adjustments as necessary. So next thing I want to do is click on that drone frame, scroll down here. I'm just going to add a little bit of feathering to this just so it looks a little more natural. About 40 is good for me. Kind of play around with the opacity to make it look the way that you want it to. I think about 38% looks good. Then I'm going to go ahead and change this back to fit. And now I'm going to find the spot where I want the effect to start zooming in. I think right about there looks good for me. Once I've found the spot where I want the effect to start, I'm just going to select each clip and I'm going to go ahead and cut each one and then just delete this extra. Then I'm going to bring this drum footage up right here, right next to my regular footage. And now we're going to create the zoom effect. So what I want to do is first click on my drone frame and my eye clip and I want to right click, go down to nest to make this one sequence. You just press OK here. That way, any future effects that I apply are going to be added to both clips. Then what I'm going to do is go over here to this double arrows, go down to effects, and then type in transform. I'm going to go under, make sure it's under distort, click and drag transform onto that very first nested sequence. Then what I'm going to do is scroll down here under transform, and where it says use composition shutter angle, I'm going to uncheck this, and then I'm going to change the angle to 180. This is going to give it a natural motion blur whenever I go to zoom in. Then I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip and I'm going to check the stopwatch for position as well as the stopwatch for scale. And I'm going to go to a certain point where the eye is fully open. This is the spot where I want the zoom effect to begin. So I'm going to add a keyframe here and add a keyframe here. And then I'm going to go to the very end of my footage on that nested sequence. And I'm going to zoom in to the eye and just kind of play around with the position so that the inside of the eye is all that you see inside of the frame. Then when I play it back, it's going to zoom right through the eye into my next clip. And if I'm not happy with the way that how fast it's zooming in, what I can do is go back over to that nested sequence, go down here, and I can just bring these keyframes closer. So I'm going to select those keyframes at the start of where the zoom effect began, and I'm going to drag them closer, and this will just make that zoom a lot faster. So when I play it back, it looks like this. 
Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.